So there are three ways um, of making lower thirds in Final Cut Pro. The first is to use the built-in templates. The second is to open the built-in templates in motion and customize them to your liking. And the third way is to build completely bespoke lower thirds in motion. Now, I'm not gonna to touch too much on motion today, but I will show you um, how to do the first two options. So you can see in my video here, I've already got lower thirds on my clips, but I'll show you how I created them. So if I come back to this clip, um, what we're gonna do is select the titles and generators tab up here in the browser. Um, and you can see now I've got titles and generators. If I expand titles, you can see the different categories. And one of the categories is lower thirds. So if I click on that, I can see all the built-in templates in Final Cut and any third-party templates that I've published to Final Cut. So you can see there's quite a few options in here. Um, and if you scroll over them, they will uh, preview for you on screen so you get an idea of what they might look like. So just have a look around and see if, which fits your project best. Now, um, if I click and drag one of these into the timeline, you can see that it appears. And then up here in the inspector, which you can get by clicking that, you can see you've got some options in here. So you've got publish parameters. Now these allow you to change certain things about the lower third. So for example, if you wanted the the bar to be a different color, you can click on this, change the color of the bar to whatever you want. So maybe a sort of a dark blue. If you want a, a different font, you can do that as well. This is not a great font. And you can see if I want to edit the text, I can just double click in the actual video window and start typing. And so it's quite easy to do that. You can see I've, when I do double click, it moves me onto the, um, onto the sort of font tab, um, which gives you more options here about how you want to align your text, um, more, more in depth stuff about the font. I'll come back over to this. Um, now there's a few other parameters in here. So you've got build in and build out. Now on, these are on most of the titles and it's basically whether or not you want to the transition in and out on the end of your title. So if I uncheck build in, you can see now it just cuts in, there's no fade. Now often you can achieve the effect you want just by playing around with the lower third. Um, oh, also, as with any clip, you can, you know, drag it, make it longer or shorter. Um, and the um, the building in and out, the, the animation retimes itself to match whatever length you've put. So you can see there I've got the fade out, even though I made the clip shorter. Now, if you wanted to go further than that, you can do. So if you've got motion installed, you can right click on the, um, the title in the browser and do open a copy in motion. Now I've already done that. So um, you can see here I've got gradient edge copy. So I can just do open in motion on that. And the reason we can't open in motion on the default titles is obviously because they're built in. Apple don't want us messing them up. But we can edit our, our versions quite easily. So you can, when you come in motion, you can actually see the different components that are making up the design. So um, if I expand components here, you can see I've got the name section. I've got the description and then at the bottom I've got the two different gradients and then the fade in and fade out behavior. Now as I said I don't want to go too much into motion um, but you can start to do things yourself here. So one of the quite common things that people want is a, is a solid uh, bar underneath their lower third. So if I just get rid of this gradient background it uh, looks like the uh, titles disappear, but it's not. What I can do is if I come down here, I can draw in a rectangle. So if I do that, um, I need to stretch it out so it lasts the whole, the whole clip um, and put it 
underneath my text and description and um, I'll just change the color of that in the inspector to be um, black and now you can see I've got my solid bar in there now another thing that you might want to do is add the logo of the company um, that you're doing this for so um, we can do that quite easily so I can just uh, drag and drop my logo in there you go the logo's appeared um, again it's too big so I'm going to uh, scale it down now you see I can scale it in kind of wonky ways so a good thing to do is to hold the shift key and that way it will um, scale without changing aspect ratio so what I'm going to do is put that down there and then I'm going to click on my name and uh, I'm not going to move it I'm going to resize it so that it doesn't overlap with the logo anymore Oops, one second uh, do the same with the description so now you can see I've got my my logo and I still got the name and description oh I need to expand that out so when when you come to save I'll ask you if you want to copy in the media that you've used so in this case the logo uh, generally you will want to do that for this type of thing it just means if you send the lower third to someone else to use they don't also need to load in the logo it's just part of the file so I've saved that now and if I come back to Final Cut we should be able to see if I drag this in you can see now that my logo is in Final Cut so let me delete that make this shorter and should be able to type in my titles just as I could before and there you go there's an easy way of um, creating your own lower thirds